School is my life. I know I'm a total nerd, but that's okay with me. But school hasn't always treated me well. I would say the most difficult year in school would be fourth grade at the Josiah Quincy Elementary School. My teacher's name was Mr. Andrews. Room 321, aging gray-haired man, enormous belly, towered over me, always wore plaid button-up shirts, golden horn-rimmed glasses. He was also quite hard to as he had tufts of chest hair sticking out of his shirts. Needless to say, I was already disgusted after the first day at the thought of having him as my teacher for the remainder of my fourth grade career. The first book we read as a class was Words of Stone. The protagonist's name is Blake. I didn't understand Blake at all. It became evident when Mr. Andrews returned my essay with a huge red circumscribed one. I was devastated. That was the lowest grade I had ever gotten. The next day, he made two lists where he would plot out how well or terrible each student was doing. He used check marks, but we all knew who the check marks represented since he just went in alphabetical order. There were two checks in the check plus column and the rest of the class were in the check minus column. I was definitely not in the check plus column. That was the first time a teacher had ever emotionally taunted me. I don't think I'll ever forget that feeling. Then term two came around and he focused more on independent reading. I loved reading for fun, but after spending countless hours citing physical and characteristic traits, I began to dread it. He returned my notebook and I got a four on my favorite character essay. I also got a two on the analytical portions. I told my mother and she got me a huge dark navy blue covered dictionary the next day. It was beautiful. My mom knew that I was serious about homework. In fact, she sat next to me one day right after school. I was in the same chair from 4 p.m. to 3 a.m. working diligently, and I only took one bathroom break. I've been raised to think that if I ever got anything wrong, there was something wrong with me. So I just tried harder. My mom didn't know what to do, so she just left me alone. I really pushed myself to the point where I stayed in during recess. I started on my independent reading the second I received my assignment, and I spent my vacations taking notes. In Mr. Andrews' classroom, there was always competition, and you could never do enough to impress him. He only smiled when he cracked a joke about the students, and the entire class would burst into laughter. It really didn't help when he singled out a kid, because you would always have that lurking feeling that you were next, underneath that nervous, exaggerated laugh. I remember he made me read my notes in front of the class before mocking me, and that scene will forever be engraved in my mind. But despite all the emotional scarring, Mr. Andrews' fourth grade advanced work class has really prepared me. At the end of the year, I was on his list of respectable students since only I had correctly identified the shape of the truck in Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nymph, which was a cube, and the sort of glasses that character had worn. My report card was only threes and fours. Fifth grade and the years I've spent at Boston Latin School following sixth grade were a breeze compared to his class. In the end, I'm just extremely grateful that he retired, but not until the year after my younger brothers.